Good morning, my viewers. It's Tracy today with me, my wonderful assistant. And she has a lot of questions ready. And we, are, we have a plexi divider between us. So please don't complain that we are not keeping a distance anymore. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> we are laughing about that and we don't give hugs and anything like we are keeping the distance between us if we can <laughs> okay the, so before Tracy will start I was doing yesterday private reading and this is someone that I did few readings before so I knew this lady has connection with Hawaii and when I was holding her hands, I saw explosion of volcano. I hope I'm wrong, but I thought I would tell this to to everyone that first I saw a volcano and then the lava was coming. So I'm just wondering if that is something that I should mention on the video. Fair enough. And Trump went today to Arizona to the mask uh, place where they are making masks why he doesn't want to go to the place to, to live the, the spirit of people who are working in the meat companies that would be more brave of him if he will go to, to those people to, to boost their energy because he wants them to work hard and he doesn't want to appreciate their work. But that's my... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tracy has questions that you sent to her. Thank you everyone for, for sending those questions. Thank you very much. Um, and I forgot to say this last time, but I just wanted to say thank you for the, for the warm welcome from the comments and the emails. I really appreciated it and it really made my day. So thank you. Um, <clears throat> okay, I tried to do a little bit better this time, so we'll see how it goes. I chose out uh, 10 questions. I tried to choose like a little bit of everything. So here we go. So my first question is from Elena H. The collective has allowed leaders like Trump, Putin, and Kim Jong-un to reign for too long. What will the world look like after they are gone? There will be a ring of new ones. It's like <laughs> a train of, it's always someone someone always will be there, uh, you know, to replace them. There will be always some problems. I see ring of new wrinkle, ring leaders. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Um, okay, from Pauline M. Glenn Kirshner is with NBC News and MSNBC. Um, he's a legal analyst. Uh, is he in any danger because of the content of his videos? being a little bit more controversial for some people. Glenn, buckle up because you have a tough journey, but he, he is a lawyer. He was a uh, attorney, I believe. I watch his uh, program sometimes. And he is giving really good analysis. So yeah, I, I see him sitting in, in the plane and he is for a ride. He is ready for it. I think he will be ready. Would someone try to... No, I think he will be nice. They will like to frame him about something, but he will go to the history as, uh, as uh, someone important. Good. But there could be something coming down. down it is something that I, I, I saw a frame and then there was his picture, but first I saw a frame. So they might want to, to frame him about something, but eventually he will go to the history because the portrait was nice. So. Oh, I, oh, I get like goosebumps sitting here. Um, <clears throat> Cindy F. Uh, Ryan River. Uh, is a major you, yeah we had a we had a quick conversation um rhine river is a major waterway for european transport um and there have been some reports uh starting back in 2018 if i did my research correctly um about it starting to dry up which could affect its economy greatly because there's a lot of cargo ships that do use that waterway uh do you see the rhine river recovering from this
I see a balloon. So it is all about the air, the drag, the balloon is lifting everything to to the sky. The the air is kind of lifting it. All the rivers in Europe are affected by the droughts. So there is so much droughts, balloons. Okay. When we moved to Canada, to Alberta, to Red Deer, they were saying to us, uh, I went for one meeting once in uh, one club, and they were saying, the, this place is so perfect to have balloon rides because you have such a dry area. After that, we had so many winds and so on, and tornadoes even. So the balloons are not a favorite place for us anymore. But I think this is symbol that the dryness in Europe is affecting everyone and the economy is suffering. But then there was floods, so, you know, it's part of the nature. There was such a huge flood not long ago that was affecting so many people. I was many times in Düsseldorf because my brother lives close to it. So I know that river. It's the longest in Europe. It looks beautiful from all the research I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of cruises are cruising, but it's dry. It is the drought that Europe has for last year and two years ago when, it, when Roman was in uh, Spain, mm. uh, in Portugal. Portugal. Yeah, it was so hot. He was complaining how hot was in Europe. So it's second, third time that, that they have that problem, third year. So hopefully it'll, hopefully they'll get yeah. some good rains for it soon. Uh, okay, from Karen, will Trump try and change the date of the election due to the crown bug? Would he try it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what that means. I have to figure out. I see those uh, a portable ladder that go to the ceiling, to the attic, that people are pulling from the attic. Yeah. Uh, he will pull every step available to him to, to change, to go f for the high elevation. Would he be able to do it? No, because the, there is the date is in constitution. I don't think he will be able. I I see Lincoln poem, uh, monument of Lincoln. I think that that's the law that they have to obey because Lincoln is a symbol of the law, kind of to me at least that the monument. So I think they have to obey that the. the the Constitution and obey the law. But he will try it. He will try to extend that because it's extension yeah. ladder. He would like to extend his. <laughs> right. And like take steps to bring himself back to the yeah, top. Yeah, to again. that top. Yeah. Love it. Um, okay. There was a few people that, that asked about Justin Amash. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Um, but Denise Sandy Lou. Uh, Justin Mosh, former Republican and now uh, Libertarian, will he get a third party bid to run for president? It's a portable easel. What is that about? A portable easel when people are going to paint, uh, paint paintings in the uh, fields it's not this disposable it's a portable so he will be but it's not very steady those easels well, they can be used inside the house too but it's for folding he will fit he will be practical he will have a lot of support from the uh, some groups for enjoyment people are play, painting in, and he he might create a nice picture for for the future uh, independent party but it's still not strong enough and it's quite late in the game 
It is very light. I did wonder about that. Again, like I'm still learning more about And US he politics, is very, very sure. nice person. I, I love when he was only one from Republican Party who was standing up and saying that Mueller report is something so valuable and people should punish Trump for, for, for doing those nasty things. And he, he, he was really going for the law. So he built up reputation. I don't think he will be uh, able to create a, a big, big painting, big picture, because it is something that I see this in the field putting up. So it's temporary. Temporary. Because uh, that's for, for artists, temporary moment, they are building this and then folding and going away. Yeah, I like that analogy. I can totally picture it in my head. Uh, Laura S. Will Trump be successful in cutting Social Security, Medicare, SNAP, and the local post office as he's been talking about doing? He don't like post offices because he wants to go even with bases. <laughs> so. This way, that way, this way, that way. And then eventually it will die down. I think he will try it. Good that he doesn't have too much time to end of his election, so he will be more careful. But it looks like he is pulling, uh, steer this way, and s then pushing back on the boat. You can move backwards your boat and going forward. So he is going forward and pulling back, going forward and pulling back. That's what I'm feeling. So I don't think he will be able to do achieve as much as he wants. He is scaring us. Mm. Making big claims. Um, <clears throat> I thought this was an interesting question and, and something very different that I thought. Um, Cindy F., she was reading that the cartels cannot get the chemicals they need to produce the drugs that they manufacture and distribute. Will this interruption in their production have an impact on drug addiction and gang violence in the U.S. and Canada? maybe a little bit but it's still like the stars the how you call the uh, galaxy on the stars the big Milky wagon way. and the small wagon we call this wagons but I don't know how to call this galactics they will still last you know they will the weather will come back and we could see them so it will be temporary that we don't see the, the stars and then the stars will be visible they will still survive kind they of. Will still survive it is that they are who they are and they are not that disposable it's not easy to to distress them as much as we wish maybe temporary they will be distracted that we wouldn't see them they are doing the, the job, their own destructive job. I'm sorry I'm comparing them with the stars, but that's what I'm seeing. No, fair enough. <coughs> I, I threw a few random ones <laughs> in here that were kind of different that I thought were fun. Uh, so this is my other one. Uh, the U.S. Navy, as many of you guys will have seen probably this past week, released a film about a UFO from the 1960s. Um, is the government preparing to disclose that they have known and had contact with other life forms? Everything is pointing. It's like uh, those big fingers, uh, hands pointing. Look here, look here, look here. What is it? Yeah, they are observing them. They, 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 there is so much connection. not all the time that we can see them but it's the other and this big finger is look look we are pointing something to you you know those big glove kind of <laughs> and you sorry you think it's the government that has the, that's the pointing fingers no, or do you I think, think it's the, the ufo ufo is telling us something and pointing to us to to observe what is the causing of even with the coronavirus, I think 
why some people are not sick and others are sick and I, last night I thought it's more like some people are allergic to certain things and they have extreme allergies mm -hmm. and others are not allergic so there is something related to allergy maybe that, that the scientists should consider because that it's like so <laughs> easy to trigger that some people are resistant, like children's. Mm -hmm. like, like and something in the DNA that's... The DNA, or how... We don't know why some people are allergic and others are not. It's the same environment, and one person will go and there is a cat and will have rush, and another can sleep with the cat and have nothing. Mm -hmm. So there is something that is protecting some people, but that's just... Uh, Folks, mm -hmm. so not my opinion. My opinion. No one else's. It's just my opinion, and I'm always going with my opinions. Okay. I love it. Uh, <clears throat> Linda M asks, "Do you have a read on the U.S. power grid? Will there be a major damaging attack on the U.S. power grid within the next few years?" So, power, power, energy, um, yeah, those uh, electric. Uh, um, Atomic, that's what you are asking, atomic? Yeah, and I want to say in one of your recent videos, you kind of briefly touched on this. Um, but, y you know, like, I, I and I apologize, because I, I could be off my rocker here. Um, but obviously, because a lot more of us are at home right now, you know, we're using more energy at home. Oh, so the, the um, power grip means uh, cut uh, the strip the so like with el energy. Yeah, so like the power grid that supplies okay. energy to. And I said in uh, not long ago that I see this in the November somewhere there, probably in the other months. But there will be. I was I'm worried more about the nuclear plants mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. are more. They can be affected uh, because of the. P not everyone will be available to work there, so they will be more under the stress of, of being exposed. That sometimes that that, that people are not available to to be there. Mm, and so it might not be a damaging attack. Might be more just because we don't have the. The, uh, enough people working and the, uh, when they are sick they are not that uh, productive and and as well I think some people will be disconnected because they wouldn't have money to, to pay the bills yeah That's so true. it can be every other way as well okay oh, goosebumps um, Kathy P, and this is my last one that I have for us today, um, but Violetta, you've talked about seeing three waves of this crown bug. Will, and I apologize if you've already answered this in a, in a previous video, but uh, will the next wave be worse than the first? Yes, that's yes. what I was saying. The first one was high, but the second was really big, and the third one was slow, small. So I think we are getting into the second wave right now. That's my feeling that I, I, I'm not going to close my eyes because I know that I remember that vision and I started talking about this subject at the beginning of the year when even when I was writing the word coronavirus, my computer was making line that that's a mistake, that's not correct word. So it was so new to that computers were not even the, uh, able to, to to know that mm -hmm. the word is new and I shouldn't touch that subject but, but it's so hard <laughs> it's so hard not to, to talk about things that are interested to all of us so yeah take care of each other thank you Tracy for your hard work and <laughs> I'm really appreciating your company and <laughs> being separated by plexiglass <laughs> <laughs> My husband did that for me. Take care of each other, stay safe, wear masks if you are going to the places, so that way you are showing other people that you care for them, not only for yourself. I know it's so uncomfortable, but we, if we can help others that way, it's showing that we are 
humans and we care for others and saving someone's life is important because we are maybe a careers and not knowing about that mm. stay positive enjoy yourself if you can stay a little bit on the sun that would be good because probably that bug doesn't like the sun and thank you for your comments thank you for emails for tracy i don't have any access to her emails <laughs> accent <laughs> and uh, be safe but be positive survive this time and next year will be better Bye. Bye. can you stop